Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft, and today I wanted to talk about three new melters that were just sent to me from Luxury Candle Supplies. And if you're unfamiliar with Luxury Candle Supplies, I have featured them on the site before. I've gotten a few vessels from them, some waxes from them, and they do make some really nice quality products. So I'm actually really excited to show you these melters and actually test them myself and see how well they hold up. But before we get into that, like I said, my name is Jeff and I make videos all about how to make candles and how to create a business around candles. If you'd like to see any of the other things that I do, check out the video section on YouTube, as well as any of the products that I make like candles, ebooks, and some of the candle making classes that I do offer online on my website at stanleyhandcrafted.com. But let's go ahead and jump into these. I just got these. I opened them up the other day. I've been looking at them. I haven't even plugged them in yet, but I wanted to get out and make a video so that I could get some feedback on these. I know a lot of people that are in the DIY Facebook group, which I host over on Facebook, do use these. A lot of people in Australia use these, and I've wanted to get my hands on these for a long time. Now, these are outfitted for the US standard plugs, so these are not the Australian base plug, which a lot of people have already been asking me about. So these three different melters, which I have the nine liter, the 16 liter, and the 27 liter, have all been specially fitted for the US market. Now they aren't in the US yet. These are just basically the first three to come over here to do some testing to find out just how nice these are and how well they hold up with melting a bunch of different waxes in them. So I'm gonna be showing three different ones and I'll go through and show you exactly what these are. So basically what it's gonna come down to is the nine liter, which is right around 2.3 gallons or about 19 pounds of wax. The second one is 16 liter, which holds around 4.2 gallons or about 35 pounds of wax. And the biggest one is 27 liter, which holds right around 7.1 gallons or close to 60 pounds of wax. So uh, these are really big. They're definitely bigger than a lot of the Presto pots that I still use. So I'm actually real excited to get into these and try them. And the pricing on these starts at $225 for the nine liter, and it goes to $325 for the 16 liter and $385 for the 27 liter. So these are definitely a nice middle ground when you're stepping up from uh, uh, the Presto Pot Melter, which I use and I've used those for years, and kind of in between some of the commercial melters, which start to go for probably like $1,000 or more, depending on what you get. But let's go ahead and move the camera and I'll show you each one of these. All right, so jumping into these, these are still, even though they have a US plug, uh, they do run in Celsius. So you've got the thermometer knob right there an all stainless steel spout, which is really nice. Let me go ahead and flip this so you can actually see the inside. And then when you jump up to the bigger one, you've got a little bit more control over these. So you've got the temperature control and then you've actually got a timer, which is really nice. And it goes from zero to 120 minutes which is definitely nice because I have left a Presto pot on pretty much all day because I forgot about it. So having a timer is definitely a good thing for me. All right, so we've got the three different models right here. This large one is really nice. Like I said, I think it holds right up to about 60 pounds. I'm gonna try and fill that one in another video to see exactly how much we can get in there. <laughs> and the one thing I wanna pay attention to is definitely not overloading. Even with the Presto pots, you always wanna make sure that you don't put too much wax in there. So we'll test these out. So I'm gonna test these out with about a third of the wax. We'll go halfway and then we'll try to fill one all the way just to see kind of how well it holds up. And Another nice thing is the bottom of that has a nice place for you to wrap the cord up. So you can wrap it all the way around there. And like I said, uh, US style plug. So it's a US fitted plug on that one. But when you're done with it, you can wrap it up around there. Uh, you can put it through the side, which is really nice. So you're not taking up a, a bunch of counter space and having the wire kind of everywhere. So if you have these up against the wall, you can just plug it right in. I do like that quite a bit. And then talking with luxury candle supplies, this is the most popular one. I guess this is the one that they sell quite a bit. Uh, so we'll definitely go through, we'll try this one out. And the look at the stainless steel on that one is actually really nice. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and plug one of these in and we're gonna start melting down some wax. I've got some new wax to try out, so I'm gonna put some, uh, some wax in here and we'll start melting this down. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get going in this one. I'm gonna be using the All Seasons Wax Pure, I'm gonna be using the All Seasons Wax Pure Soy 100. We're gonna be wicking some of these new tins the rose gold one, and then this matte silver. And then we're gonna be using uh, two different LCS wicks. So we've got the LCS 40 and the LCS 75. The 75 will go into these because they fit right around like three inches. And then I think we're gonna try to do three of the LCS 40s in this one and see how well it does. And I haven't used the S100 before. So this is a pure soy, and we're gonna see how well this one does. It looks really nice. Nice bright white finish. Uh, flakes can't be easier to use. So let's go ahead and start melting this down. And then we're gonna go ahead and wick these. And again, for these guys, I'm gonna be using the LCS 75. And I will say the LCS wicking system is really nice. That 75 means 75 millimeters. So once you convert that into inches, which we use here in the US, that's right around like 2.9 inches, which is almost exactly what these are. <clears throat> but their wick naming convention is really nice. Let those sit. And then for this one, we're gonna be using three of the LCS 40s, 40 millimeters, so that converts to about 1.5 inches. So I think three of these will cover this one without being too big of a melt pool and getting too hot on us. And then Placing these, I am literally just eyeballing these. And since this is a metal tin, I'm getting them somewhat far enough out to where they heat the edge of the tin, but not too much to where it just melts the entire tin of wax. We want it to heat up just a little bit, but not give us too big of a melt pool. So I think that's pretty good with that one. And then we'll go ahead and let that wax melt down and then we'll go ahead and fill these. And for the melter, I went ahead and set that right around like 82 degrees Celsius, right around the 180 Fahrenheit range for us. So this thing is just about, it's right at 180. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this guy up.
right, so that's pretty much it with this one. We just did a real basic test, heating it up for the first time with a new wax, pouring it, and then of course letting it cool back down. Now I am gonna go through and test all three of these. I wanna see how each one handles a bunch of wax in it. But so far I like the little one quite a bit. It heated up the wax really quick. I'd say probably about 15, 20 minutes. It was almost fully melted. Give it another 10, 15 minutes after that and it was completely melted up to temperature. And of course the stainless steel spout was really nice. Uh, it wasn't hot at all to grab the spout and turn it, which is really nice. The, uh, the Presto pot that I used, the spouts on those can get a little warm. But of course I didn't have this one heating up for hours at a time. So we'll let these heat up for like a good hour, let them sit for a couple hours with wax. We're gonna pour probably 30, 40, 50 candles in some of the bigger ones and see how well the spout holds up to heat after that long. And then along with that, I was using a new wax today, which was the All Seasons Wax S100. So I'm gonna go through and do a full review on that one. I've got three candles sitting in front of me with the LCS wicks, which I've never tried before either. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna test those and do a full review on the wax and the wicks as well. But like I said, that's pretty much it with this one. If you wanna see anything or if you want me to try anything with these tins, with the wick, with different waxes and with the melters, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll try to go through and add that to the next video. But definitely for now, hit subscribe on the channel and hit the like button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, if you wanna follow me on any of the social media platforms that are out there, I've got them listed in the video description down below. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, my website, and the phone number if you wanna sign up for any of the alerts that I send out. That number is 253-303-7968. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.